those pictures of her that were scattered about of her beauty, her just extraordinary beauty, watching her move as she's talking and showing something to somebody, watching her move, having dinner with her in her little kitchen, you know, while she's cooking in the kitchen and I'm standing there and helping her make dinner and then we sit down. Our conversations, you know, we did counsel a lot. She, she and I did a training and, and counsel was never really comfortable for her, you know, the idea that you could only speak when you get the talking piece. Emily wanted to speak when she wanted to speak, so it was a challenge. So I remember hysterical moments where we're in council and Emily just is, you know, just in the flow. And then um, grief, the grief in, in, in her about the suffering of people, the people who were paralyzed um, and that she wanted to bring her skills, her somatic skills to so that she could help them move. You know, and do things that the doctors had all said, you know, you'll never do this. She could, she could be really angry and laugh and have those blazing eyes, you know, all within three minutes of each other, you know, it's just so many dimensions, so many dimensions. <laughs>